Hey there, Jim and Cindy here from Out of Pocket. We're back for our next video. Which is installing additional solar panels to increase our solar capacity for the pocket. We put the roof rack on. This is one of the things we were interested in doing, was to upgrade the solar capacity. Solar panels arrived. We took a look at them. They look good. It looks like it should be really easy <laughs> to, to, do, to do this install. <laughs> So we're going to go for it, and uh, and I hope it is really easy. The brackets and the mounting looks very straightforward now that we have the roof rack on the van. You may know that the Solus Pocket comes with 160 watts on the panel that's pre-installed. These are two 45-watt panels that we ordered to add on to give us a total capacity of 250 watts. These two panels are what's called B-Stock. We ordered them from Zamp Solar. They happen to have B stock, which means there's visual defects, but it doesn't affect the functionality of the panel, and it's $75 each per panel. It was really a deal that we couldn't pass up. It's like you're not going to see them on the top of the roof rack, so yeah. of course. Right, so, um, so they came in, and we're going to do it. <laughs> Cross our fingers. Okay. Easy. Let's get these installed. All right. Jim explained that these were B cells. Uh, because there were some visual issues with them, but they still function right. These are the tiniest little issues. Who is ever going to notice or care about that little imperfection? I think we're good. And we saved a lot of money getting these. So I have this placed here. It looks like it's going to install very easily. And fortunately, we don't have to move this crossbar because we've already installed the awning and all that. You can't get to these screws on that side. But basically, the way these panels are set up, these little brackets go up under the solar panel, screw into the bottom of the panel, and then I have nuts to put them into the 80-20 stock here. So they can go either this way or this way. So I'll put two this way in the front, slide it back a little, and put two on each side in the back, and they'll attach perfectly to these two crossbars. So that's the plan. I'm going to put these brackets in and this is a pretty interesting design, the way they have it set up. These things kind of go into the slot like that. And that little spring holds it there. And then you take this, like that. Like that, like that. Tighten all that up, and this is the part that will go into the rail on the roof rack. Pretty, pretty good setup. If you are doing it like I am, having a couple sticking this way and a couple sticking to each side, make sure you pick the right end of the panel. I already had to take one out. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty perfect. I'm just going to tighten up these rear brackets now. Not going anywhere. It's actually, there's just a tiny bit of motion. I think the length of those screws, they're just hitting the bottom of the channel, so I'm going to put two, two washers in. Okay, last one with the washer. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Rock solid. The connectors on the roof, there's there are ports for three solar panels. This one is already used by the main panel. I just plugged in that one. And because it's underneath this panel, I have to plug in the other one now. Now, you know the polarity issue, but fortunately this is ZAMP, 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 everything ZAMP. I double-checked these connectors are just like that existing connector. So, we should be all set as far as polarity. So we'll just connect that one in there. We'll be good to go. I find they take a little work. Okay, those three are in. Now I'll put the 
second panel on, just like that one. This one's in, this one's really secure. I did have a delay because I forgot to put the T-nut slots in all the way over to this side because the little slot to put them into the rail is on that side, so I undo that panel again. But now everything's good, both panels are secure. I'm gonna tie down the cords with a few zip ties and this project will be done. So that's it. We successfully installed both of the panels and learned that some of what we keep doing that makes things take a long time uh, is our fault. <laughs> oh, not surprising. <laughs> if you forget to put the T-nuts in and need them on the other side of the rail, you should yeah. have checked if there was an, a little slot to put them in on the other side of the rail, but there wasn't. So once again, it takes a little longer than you would think. However, we now know it's really easy to put the panels in and out, so if one of them breaks, replacing it is going to be super simple. This is a great simple upgrade with the roof rack there. Putting these panels on really was so much easier than trying to attach them to the roof or something else. Uh, nothing's messed up. It's a little shady, but we looked inside. We are getting some solar charging, so it looks like everything's hooked up right. So it worked. Yep, so I'll be excited to see what the additional capacity will be when we're out in the sun. And, um, but a great project, actually not, not too bad this time. So hopefully you enjoyed that, found it useful. And if you did, please like and subscribe. So we'll see you next time. See you Thanks. next time.